It takes a certain kind of squat to live the life of a nomad hunter. Urson Grimjarl, older brother of Orin Grimjarl, long ago left the Yardland Holdfast to wander the wasteland, hunting nomads for bounties. In the decades he has travelled the great equatorial wastes and beyond, he has earned a reputation for having an uncanny ability to track down and kill even the most cunning nomad raiders. This has made him a target to the wasteland tribes, and more than once, Nomad champions have sought to make their name by hunting down the ornery old squat, usually with fatal results for the Nomad. Years ago, Urson was offered the stewardship of Yardlin by his and Orin's father, Harrow Grimjarl, when the Elder Squat sought to take the Graven Path, joining with the Elders who tend to the Iron Head Ancestral Core. Ultimately, Urson rejected the running of the clan, passing it on to one of the other squat families of Yardlin. Even when Urson learnt of the destruction of his ancestral home, he merely spat in the dust and carried on with his work. It was only after an encounter with Orin that Urson decided to help guide the younger Grimjarl and his companions back to their holdfast. Perhaps as a last favour to Harrow, or maybe because, like Orin, if he was to be the last of Yardlin, he might exact some vengeance from those that had ended his line. An exceptional hunter, Urson is a dangerous and canny opponent, and one does not survive long as a nomad hunter in the ash wastes without the ability to get the drop on one's foes. To this end, Urson carries a powerful Yardland longshot hunting rifle. The grizzled old hunter is also never without a pair of Tecmite oculi, the small mechanical companions held aloft on whirring fans with an array of picked lenses for finding hidden enemies even in the midst of billowing ash storms. Hola and welcome back to Wellywood Wargaming. My name is Damon and this is the gigantic series where I give you bite-sized videos on every single hired gun and dramatis personae in the game of Necromunda. Before I get started though, please do a like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you've used these guys as well and check out the Patreon as well if you can, that would be awesome. Um, Urson Grimjarl, this one's a really good one. Um, shout out to Chris the Underhiver Idden who's already done a video on this guy but I thought I need to include this in my series of course, he's already touched on all that but here's a different video on it from a different angle, I suppose. Urson Grimjarl. Um, now, you can tell that this guy's one of the most recent bounty hunters because he is way, way under-costed compared to all the old bounty hunters, of course. 160 credits, and you get a lot of bang for your buck, pun intended there. Urson Grimjarl. Let's have a look at the miniature first, though. Fantastic-looking miniature if you like squats. I'm not a huge fan of the squat aesthetic, if I'm honest. Um, I did when they first came out, but I've kind of gone off them slowly and surely. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm ever going to find them in my collection anytime soon, if I'm honest. But I do like the the, the actual gang mechanics and the um, you know the character that you've got here is a, is a really really good one and certainly one of the best ones. Uh, in when I do this tier listing at the end, I think this guy's going to be somewhere around the top because he really really is good. Um, but a really nice looking uh, miniature from Forge World there with the tech mites as well. Let's look at the stats now though. We've got a movement of five, which is quite fast for a squat really. They used to be movement three, then they went up to four. Now they're five all of a sudden. Um, we've got a weapon skill of four plus and a ballistic skill of three plus. This guy is a shooter though, not a fighter. Strength of three, toughness of four, two wounds, an initiative of four up and one attack. Uh, and the mental stats are leadership 6+, plus, call of 5+, plus, willpower of 6+, plus, and intelligence of 6+, plus as well. So really strong uh, mental stats there. But the other stats, they're not particularly standout. Um, you know, only one attack, not great weapon skill and stuff. But that's not a problem. This guy is a sniper, as you could tell by the law there. Now... Moving on to the weapons that this guy has, the Yardland Longshot Hunting Rifle is the real standout here, and it's a unique weapon, only available to Urson Grimjarl, so the only way you're going to use this weapon is if you've got this guy. It's an 18-inch short range with a 48-inch long range. No minuses to, uh, sorry, no positives to hit at short, like, short range, but like a long rifle, we have a plus one to hit at long range. Uh, strength 5, minus 2 AP, 2 damage... 4-up ammo, rapid fire, 1, and rending. So a lot to take in there. It is long range. It's accurate at long range. Strength 5, meaning that you're wounding Goliath on a 3 most of the time. 
minus two AP, which deletes most armor types from the beginning of the campaign, two damage and rapid fire with rending. That is a fantastic weapon and easily the best sniper rifle in the game already. We then have an iron head stub gun, which is much the same as the ones that you get on your normal iron head prospectors. So we've got a six inch short range, 12 inch long range, plus two to hit short range, strength three, damage one, four up ammo, and a plentiful rapid fire one and sidearm there. We've also got frag grenades and crack grenades. I'm not going to go into what those do because you probably already know. Skills, we have clamber, overwatch, and precision shot. So clamber is really, really nice to have on a guy like this who can get into those sniping positions because he doesn't have infiltrate or anything. So you're going to want to set this guy up in decent shooting positions. And of course, clamber is going to help you get there. Overwatch is the best skill to have on a sniper, meaning that you can auto interrupt stuff when it moves and whatnot and shoot it before it does anything. And we've also got precision shot there as well, which I believe on sixes uh, means that you don't get an armor save or something like that. It's one of the shooting skills that's good. They're all good. In fact, all the shooting skills are good. Um, we've also got mesh armor, a respirator, and the tech mite oculi, and prox proximity ore specs as well. We'll get into that in a second. Now, we've got some special rules here as well. Urson Grimyarl's special rules. He's got Hunter for Hire. So Urson Grimyarl is a bounty hunter. Uh, that may be hired by any law-abiding gang. So he is law-abiding. You can't hire him if you're an outlaw. Um, and he's got all the claiming bounties rules there uh, tied into that. We've also got something called Oculi Command. When Urson Grimyarl is deployed on the battlefield, a Techmite Oculi is also deployed within three inches of him. If during his activation there are no Techmite Oculi on the battlefield, Urson Grimyarl may perform the deploy ocu Oculi double action to place a Techmite Oculi in base contact of Urson Grimyarl. So when the Techmite Oculi dies, which inevitably they do, he just gets to put another one out there, which is really, really cool indeed. So let's have a look at those Tech Might Oculi and what they actually do. Now, um, the Tech Might Oculi has a movement of seven, weapon skill of five plus, ballistic skill of five plus, strength two, toughness three, one wound, initiative four up, attacks one, and eight plus leadership, five plus cool, six plus willpower, and six plus intelligence there as well. And two times pincers, which are close combat weapons that are strength two, one damage and melee, no other sort of specials there. Now the special rules for the Tecmite Oculi, Oculi are as follows. We have flight, so this guy ignores all terrain and may move freely between levels, much like any other flying thing in the game. We've also got target paint. Whilst the Tecmite Oculi is within six inches of an enemy model, Urson Grimyar reduces any negative to hit modifiers due to cover by one. So it kind of acts as trick shot if it's near to its target by six inches. So you've got to get this thing into range of being able to shoot it. Um, and that's the, that's the first hurdle, I suppose. But it's a nice thing to have. We've also got Scout Drone. Tecmite Oculi can range further from Urs and Grimyar, the most exotic beasts. The Tecmite Oculi must remain within 18 inches of Urs and Grimyar rather than 3 inches. So you can't use this guy outside of 18 inches, which is a bit of a shame because it means that it doesn't really tie into that 48 inch long range that you've got. However, 48 inches is way, way over the top. Most board sizes, you're never going to need that at all. It's just nice to have, I suppose. But the Tecmai Oculi is pretty interesting. It's nice to have. Um, yeah, what's not to like about that? It looks cool. It looks kind of cute as well. Um, but that is, uh, you know, a pretty damn good top tier character. And certainly I would say now the best sniper in the game, especially with that weapon. I think it's just disgusting. Yeah, Umbra, I would say, was uh, the best one before this. But uh, this guy really does take the cake, especially for that price. I think 160 credits is uh, an absolute steal for such a powerful um, sniper in the game. The other thing you could use this guy for, of course, is an outlaw, um, sorry, not an outlaw, an outcast leader. And I think he'd be a pretty good one. You could make a, a fairly snipey sort of themed gang with this guy of nomad hunters. I'd quite like the idea of kit bashing a bunch of guys up to have sort of nomad bits and pieces and trophies on them. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, so you could do that with Urson Grimyarl. Uh, and he's certainly a cheap option for a leader as well and a very, very good one. And that's a way that you're going to absolutely guarantee using that Yardland long shot hunting rifle as well in your games of Necromunda because it is just a fantastic weapon. Um, from start to finish. So there you go. Anyway, that's it for Urson Grimyar. I'll be back with another video real soon. Peace out.